Hi there, welcome to the demo video of the plugin Easy AdSense Ads, the most comprehensive ad management plugin out there in WordPress plugins repository. We have developed this Easy AdSense Ad plugin, keeping every WordPress user in mind. I mean, right from the beginner to the expert. Our plugin serves different ads for different versions of your website. I mean, it can serve different ads to your desktop version and mobile version of your website. And also, our plugin supports AMP accelerated mobile pages i mean you can serve different ads on your amp pages easy adsense ads plugin is not just for adsense it works with any other ad code you can just place the ad code and choose whichever the locations you want to serve that particular ad on your website here you can see the summary of what our plugin offers so you can add ads on your home page and archive pages and it supports up to nine ad spots there is a separate widget available for our plugin and also it supports um, full page and post control as i said it supports amp and we have different alignment and advanced options in terms of managing your ads just like any other wordpress plugin you can install our plugin from plugins menu under plugins click on add new set ewa then you will get easy ads and ads in center click on install now and activate. Once you activate the plugin, you can see Easy AdSense Ads menu on your WordPress dashboard. Here you have two options available Help and Settings. I'm going to Help page. This is our Help page, it's just like a welcome page. We have uh, just gave an out view of our Easy AdSense Ad plugin. So you can contact us on this email ID, and there is a link to our support forum where you can actually go through already existing threads or you can raise your own issue there. And also, we have included a contact form where you can use this form to send any query if at all if you have any issues with using this plugin. We're also promising to keep this plugin free forever. So, we have also developed this plugin in such a way that it's a pretty lightweight plugin. I mean, it loads pretty fast. So here it tells that we need to add the scripts in customizer under appearance. So let me now get to the settings page. On settings we have basic settings and advanced settings. All the default settings would do the work for us. I mean you don't need to change anything. The default settings can do wonders for you. But I want to walk you through all these settings once for ease of understanding. The first setting we have under basic settings is enable between content ads on. If you are a blogger or publisher, you want to monetize your articles by placing ads in your articles. If you want to show ads in your articles, then you want to activate this post option. So I wouldn't recommend activating page or attachment because we don't want to serve ads on pages or attachments. The second option we have is disable ads widget and theme location ads on. I mean our plugin has a sidebar widget. If at all if you want to disable sidebar ad on pages, you can select that one. So I don't want to show any ads on my pages so I am deactivating ads on my page sidebar. So here if you want to select multiple options on this page you have to press control on windows and command on macbook. So I am holding command I can select multiple options now. If I want to deselect multiple options I have to hold command again. Now I want to deselect everything I am holding command again and selecting on page so page got deselected. So for now, I am selecting page because I don't want to show ads on the sidebar of my page. The other option we have here is AMP. As I said, this plugin supports accelerated mobile pages, uh, the new feature by Google. If you have AMP enabled on your website, you need to enable this option. I will show you when I am in customizer so that you will know how this option works. So if you are using W3 Total Cache plugin, you need to enable this option because it can build different caches per desktop on your mobile version so that you can serve different ads on desktops and your mobile websites. Lastly, we have add your own ad location. If you want to enable custom ad locations, you can use this option. So for now, I have enabled above footer and below header custom ad locations. So when using custom ad locations, you need to place a short code in order to make this ad visible on your website. Now we are in advanced settings. So in order to make these two options work for you, you need to enable advanced options. So here we have disable ads on taxonomy archives, which means you can disable ads on any of these uh, category archives. And the second option we have is disable ads on post types in these taxonomies. 
I mean if you don't want to show ads on particular category post you can disable it here. For now I am selecting arrangement which means you don't see ads on posts that fall under arrangement category. So now I am saving all the changes that I have done in settings. Let's move on to customizer where we can actually add our ad codes. Click on customizer. I am opening it in a new tab. Here you can see easy adsense ads and scripts option. Click on that. We have multiple options available. The ability to serve ads on home and archive pages, single posts and pages, custom locations, theme locations, advanced locations and header and footer scripts. I will walk you through one by one. Let's go to home and archive pages. For every option we have provided instructions on how to use this particular option. So under home page ad I am just enabling home page ad. So alignment is default. So here we have three options. I want to show an ad after first post and repeat it for three times after every two posts. So now you can see an ad after the first post and an ad after two posts and an ad after another two posts. Also we have advanced options here. So if you want to have a margin around your ad unit you can enter the number of pixels. I am just enabling 50 pixels. See now the space around the ad unit got increased. I am increasing it further. See the space around the ad got increased. I would recommend 10 pixels. Now let's see what we have under single post and page. Here we have below post title ad, after first paragraph ad, after first anchor image ad, between post ad and after post ad. So I'll show you one by one. Under below post ad, I'm enabling this ad. I have already placed different scripts for desktop and this box is for mobile. If you want to show a different ad on your mobile, you need to enter that code here. If you want to serve the same ad on both mobile version and desktop version of your website, you need to place the same ad code. Now I have done that. For this also we have advanced options like the margin and inline styles. Yeah, inline styles in the sense I mean you can actually customize the ad uh, look and feel here. So as you can see I have entered the ad code here. After the post title you can see an ad. So the default alignment would be always left. So if I want to show it on right side. I have just taken it to the right side. That's how it works. And let's go to first paragraph ad. I'm enabling this one. If you want to show the same ad on mobile, you need to paste the code here. Okay, see, this is the first paragraph. So immediately after that, I have an ad here. So I want to show it on the right side. See, it went right side. After first anchored image ad, I have activated this one. This is the first image in my entire post. So immediately after that, I have an image here. This is how after first anchored image ad works. So let's go to between post ad. I have enabled this one. So you can see there is an ad in between the post. Now let's see how after post ad works. I have enabled this one already and there is an ad code here. And if you go down immediately after the blog post you can see an ad here. This my custom locations are in line with the setting space. I mean here I have entered above footer and below header option. So those are activated under my custom locations. Theme locations feature is specific to our own Swift themes. Here it's page speed theme. So here we have multiple options like above header, in header, below header, before main division, after main division, above footer. So let me show you few options. I am enabling above header here and the code is already placed inside. As you can see now above the header there is an ad. I am disabling this one. I am activating below header. See immediately after the header and navigation bar there is an ad. So let's activate before main division. So once I activated this one you can see an ad just above the post. Let me show you how above footer works. I'm activating this one. Scrolling down. See there is an ad here. I'll try to change the alignment to right side. See now the ad got moved to the right side. Okay now let's move on to advanced locations. Here we have multiple options like showing an ad after nth image or nth paragraph. Likewise we can show three different ads. So for now I am giving here a second image and activating the ad. So this is the first image and this is the second image. Immediately after that we have an ad. I want to show an ad after third paragraph. I am enabling this ad area. 
so I have entered three there so I should be seeing an ad after three so here after third paragraph I'm able to see an ad similarly I want to show an ad after fifth paragraph I'm enabling this ad space see there is an ad after the fifth paragraph so let's move on to head and footer scripts so whenever we are verifying our website on Google Analytics or Webmaster Tools or Google AdSense we need to place few scripts on our website I mean especially the meta tags so in that case you can actually paste those scripts here in order to verify your website ownership okay lastly I have told you I'll show how AMP works let me head out to the settings space and activate AMP I just checked in enable AMP support and saved the changes okay now let's reload the customizer now you can see a separate block for accelerated mobile pages here you can place a different ad code which gets served on your AMP pages in our settings page I have disabled the ability to display ad on the sidebar of any page so that's why you're not seeing any ad on the sidebar of a page so let me deactivate that option save settings now I'm reloading the page again now you can see an ad in the sidebar of a page that's how this disable ads widget and theme location ads on option works using easy adsense ads plugin you can also control the ads visibility on individual posts or pages right now I'm in the post editor of a particular post called easy adsense ads demo post let me show you the finished post so as you can see there is an ad above the header and there are ads in the content and there is an ad above the footer so if you want to control the ads visibility of individual posts we can do it in the post editor so here we have two options disable all custom content ads in the post I mean if you want to disable all the in content ads you can enable this option let me show you how it works I'm enabling this option and updating the post now let me reload the post so still we can see the ad above the header but there are no in content ads but there is an ad above the footer so if you want to disable all the ads in that particular post regardless of their location like above the header or above the footer or in the sidebar then you need to enable the second option I have disabled the first option and enabling the second option and updating the post now let me reload this post again now as you can see there is no above header ad there is no sidebar ad there are no in content ads and there is no above footer ad so the second option disables all the ads on particular post or page that's all folks that's a demo video on our plugin easy ads and ad if you have any queries just post it on our forum or contact us directly using the form on our help page